In this episode of Fun Time with Pepper, astronaut Pepper learns about the planet Jupiter. Pepper stops to talk to the computer on the Ganymede space station and then travels to Jupiter to find out about the solar system's largest planet. Would you like to visit Jupiter? Fun Time with Pepper. Hi everybody, today we're going to go see Jupiter. Spacecraft approaching. Attention, spacecraft docking. Attention, spacecraft docking. Hello, computer. Astronaut Pepper, welcome to the Ganymede Space Station. How may I assist you? Yes, I'm doing research on the planet Jupiter. Would you be able to help me answer a few questions? Of course, I am here to provide any information or assistance you may need. So Ganymede is one of Jupiter's moons? Affirmative. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system. Ganymede is one of the only two Jovian moons where surface settlements would be feasible because it receives only about 0.08 sieverts of radiation per day. Ganymede could be terraformed. Why is Jupiter called the gas giant? Jupiter is mostly made of hydrogen and helium gas, so it's more like a large fluffy balloon than a solid ball. Really? Jupiter isn't solid like the Earth or Mars? Jupiter is mainly gas and can be considered Jupiter's atmosphere, but is much, much thicker. Jupiter is much heavier than Earth and has a much stronger gravity. According to most theories, Jupiter has a dense core of heavy elements that formed during the early solar system. The solid core of ice, rock, and metal grew from a nearby collection of debris, icy material, and other small objects like the many comets and asteroids that were traveling around 4 billion years ago. That's very interesting to know. So how big is Jupiter exactly? Jupiter is so big that over 1,300 Earths could fit inside of it. It has a diameter of about 88,695 miles, which is more than 11 times the diameter of Earth. Wow, that is really big! I see that it's the largest planet in our solar system. What are the stripes on Jupiter's surface? Jupiter's signature stripes and swirls are actually cold windy clouds of ammonia and water, floating in an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. What about that big red spot? The Great Red Spot is a giant, spinning storm in Jupiter's atmosphere. It is like a hurricane on Earth, but it is much larger. Jupiter's Great Red Spot is more than twice the size of Earth. Winds inside this storm reach speeds of about 270 miles per hour. And I was complaining about Earth's weather. How many moons can I find out here? Jupiter has over 95 confirmed moons. Some are tiny, and some, like Ganymede, are bigger than the planet Mercury. 95 moons? That is a lot! Okay, that's more than I want to visit today. Hey, does Jupiter have rings like Saturn? Affirmative. They're faint and made of dust, so they are harder to spot. I'm going to talk to Jupiter now. Attention, spacecraft launching. Attention, spacecraft launching. Dome deactivated. Hi, Pepper. Thanks for visiting me. Hey, Jupiter, would it be all right to ask you some questions? I would be happy to answer any questions you have. So why are you spinning so fast? Gravity gave me a big push when I was formed. So I spun super fast. One day is only about 10 hours on Earth. Crazy! Especially when your diameter is so large! Do you have any weather? Yes, my winds can whip up to 300 miles per hour. And I have lightning that's 10 times more powerful than the lightning on Earth. That's shocking! Good thing I have some rubber in my boots. What's your temperature like? At my cloud tops, it's a chilly 145 degrees below zero. But deep inside me, it gets hotter than the surface of the sun. Hotter than the surface of the sun? 
Ouch, ouch, ouch! Did you know I help protect Earth from asteroids? My gravity pulls in a lot of rocks that might end up hitting the Earth. Really? I don't think we appreciate you enough. Hey, do you ever feel lonely out here? Never. My moons keep me company, and the sun is always shining on me. What's your favorite moon? Hmm, I can't choose, but Europa's icy oceans and Io's fiery volcanoes are very cool. Don't activate it. Pepper, keep dreaming and thinking big. Thank you for answering some questions, Jupiter. You're amazing. See you again soon. That was a really great time visiting Jupiter. What part of Jupiter did you like the most? Captain Pepper, signing off.